ultimate reunion. We made it to Australia. At the Gold Coast. Look at this banging car. <laughs> do you think... Do you think we have enough? No, not quite. It's only the three of us, so we should probably get a little bit more. Fucking what? <laughs> <laughs> How long do I go for? Biggest smart. <laughs> what are you looking at with that camera? Stage front. <laughs> Is that your bed? Put it here. It's nice and warm though, put that seat. Is that what you do for a living? Because they look pretty good. Oh, well. Let's see these fold. Woo! Look at that. Look at that baby. You uh little baby burrito. House. House. Oh. On the roof. Smoke and weed. Uh, five seconds. Take it. <laughs> <laughs> Shark. <laughs> Full ball. Over. Billy like Elliot, bro. What? How? Ballerina. Girlfriends. Friends. Oh, <laughs> Drums. 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 Tap. Beat. So glorious bastards. Oh. Oh! Hi, boy! Two ways, first way. There. Straight from the horse's mouth. Oh, he's on fire, isn't it? Oh, he's not winning. Top of the Brisbane. On top of the world, really. Yeah, yeah. We can see all of Australia. That's how long I've been on you. 
got some. Come on, man. Guys, where are we going? Byron Bay. Byron Bay. Made it to Byron Bay. We found the tie-dye shops that we've sort of been told about. Byron Bay, we've realised, is just Brighton. It's tie-dye. Everywhere. Everyone will suffer. But, real cute. Sandball. They don't have snowballs in Australia, they have sandballs. He makes sand angels. Yeah. Oh! There's a pool! Are you mad? You are kidding! Oh, so beautiful. For our last night in Australia, me and P have been brought to the penthouse of the Gold Coast. Look at how beautiful! <laughs> penthouse. <laughs> okay, this is a kitchen. <laughs> I have flamingo cushions. Flamingo! Flamingos are my favourite. Oh, no. Oh, there's an ironing board. <laughs> Because I, I, I need to iron all my clothes before I put them in my bag. Right, well done guys. Drink up. Lost it, lost the game. Is that half? Welcome. <laughs> oh, Alright. That was nice. <laughs> we're coming home, coming home. Tell the world we're coming home. We've had the best eight days in Australia. I've had the best days of my life. Of a life. Must have yeah. been good. It, it's a big statement, but I think it's true. <laughs> Just said goodbye to the boys. Emotional moments were happening. Yeah, time to go home. Four flights over about 36 hours. 24 hours on planes. It's going to be a really long day and a half. Yeah, yes it is, but it's going to be worth it for the British summer. Yeah, looking forward to going. Actually, I'm not looking forward to going home at all. No, me neither. I mean, I'm looking forward to seeing my dogs. Yeah, and my family. Yeah, but... other than that, no. Yeah. So, an update of the day so far. Land in Kuala Lumpur. Go to get check into our next flight, which is Kuala Lumpur to London via Tehran, which is Iran, then to Ukraine then to Gatwick. In the queue there's a few people in front of us and they all seem to be having problems with getting onto the plane. People are getting turned away because I'm British. I'm not allowed onto the plane to go to Iran without a visa. The visa you have to get at the embassy, which is in the city, which is like an hour away. Obviously we did not have time for that. No one did on the plane. Half the plane got turned away. If you're British from the US or Canada, you can't go to Iran basically. Even though we're not going to Iran, we're just going there to get the next plane. It's fucking bullshit. Air Asia is the shittest airline I've ever used in my entire life. It's fucking disgusting. I was not allowed on and so were loads of other people. Patricia was told that she's allowed on but she has to get 75 euro so she can get a transit visa 
to be in the Iranian airport. Where is she going to get 75 euro from? And also, we don't really have 75 euro. And also, where did it say this when we booked it? This is why I don't understand how we can book a flight from Kuala Lumpur to London via all these stops. And it's all one thing that we've booked, but it doesn't tell us anywhere that we have to go to an embassy to get a visa and have to have 75 euro in cash. Yeah, a lot of stress, a lot of anger, a lot of people who can't go home or can't go to connect their connecting flights. We had to just deal with the fact that we weren't going to get on that flight and nor any of the other ones that we had we were supposed to get on. We booked a flight from Kuala Lumpur to London via Doha. Double checked that I was going to be able to give in get onto the plane. Don't really know what Doha's visa transit things is, but I asked at the front desk and they said that you can go to Doha, it's fine. It was just Air Asia that are this fucking bastards of the air. We booked that £400 each that we've had to pay to get home on top of the original flight. So we booked this flight with like the several different stops because it was a lot cheaper than going like direct or one stop or whatever and now we're having to wait like eight hours to get home later and pay 400 extra pounds. I went and got a beer and I drank it outside of Nando's and downed it in about three minutes and then we had to get the train from KL2 to KL1 terminal and I drank my other beer on the train and now I think it's like nine and our flight is at 2.55 in the morning. We've left Australia on such a high, like had such a good time, and n not not wanting to come home, but just like really having really enjoyed ourselves, still on the traveling high. We left like not wanting to leave Australia because we loved it so, so much, and being really upset that we were leaving, to now being like, just get me the fuck back to London. Just, I don't care how, I just need to get back to London now. I can't be arsed with these airports. I can't spend any more time in airports sleeping on benches. Like, it's been four months of proper backpacking and it's time to go home. Hello, old friend. <laughs> Give me the shoe and get you back. <laughs> It didn't need to happen quite like that. Here we are, back again. Almost crashed. <laughs> Is there anyone to pick us up? Is there anyone to pick us up? Hi, I'm here. I'm ready. Someone <laughs> take me back home. <laughs> any, any takers? Any takers? No? We'll, we'll get the tube. Nice. Right, so I'm just gonna pop into MS, get some snacks for trying home. We've got a long journey ahead of us, so should I pop into MS? Uh, I believe that is not MS Butcher Show, that's WH Smith. 